when we learn any new programming language, we need to learn how to do Hello World. We'll also do Hello World for PyQGIS. So all of you, let's open up your QGIS. So we'll open up QGIS. And to be able to type any Python code, we need to open the Python console. So once you have QGIS is open, go ahead to the plugin menu and open the Python console. This opens a new console. This is the interactive Python console where you can type any Python command and it'll get executed within the QGIS environment. You can write any regular Python code. So any Python code that works with the current version of Python, you can run it here. You can also write Python code that uses the PyQGIS API. So any custom QGIS Python code can also work in this environment. Let's see how this works. So we have a prompt here where you can type some Python code. Let's learn how to print hello world. So in Python, you can just print quotes, hello world. You can use single or double quotes. And once you press enter, this will get run by the Python version that QGIS ships with. And you should see hello world printed on your screen. So try this out, open the Python console on the prompt here. Just type print, open braces, in quotes, hello world, and it should run. This kind of prompt is a good way to run one line of code or maybe two lines of Python code. But if you are running a long Python code, it's quite cumbersome to do it line by line. So QGIS also offers you with a built-in code editor where you can write longer piece of code and it's got it's some additional features which help you manage larger scripts, save them, load the scripts from the file, etc. So let's open up the console that comes with the Python console. Let's open up the code editor that comes with the Python console. On the Python console, you'll see the third button here. It says show editor. Click on that button. And it will open up this editor on the right side of the console. This, when you open this con editor, it'll start with a blank file. Here you can write multiple lines of Python code and execute it. So let's run the same thing where I can say, hello world. And I have, maybe I want to write one more line of Python code, the hello class. So I have two lines of Python code and I want to now run that. So I have written multiple lines of Python code. And if I want to run this, I can click this play button. It should go and execute all the code that I've written. So try this out. Try just writing one or two lines of code here in the editor and click the play button. You'll see this line, this says, whatever you wrote was saved to a temporary file and it was run with the Python. So you can see this is executing the temporary file and you can see I have two lines of output, which was run by the Python. And this is the preferred way for rest of the course. We'll be using the editor here to write code here. So we'll have multiple lines of code when we copy paste some code from the course material or write some code, we'll use this environment. And once we have the script, we can click this play button to run this. There's also, if you have a lot of output here, cluttering your output, there's this button. This is a, a sweeper button, which says clear console. You can press this and or it'll just clear the previous output. So if you've written some code and you want to say, I want to reuse this tomorrow, or I want to send it to somebody, you can click save and it'll allow you to save whatever you wrote as a .py file on your computer. And you can then use this open button and load some py file that you have on the computer. So you can, can read, write, and read Python files from here. 